This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, how does God remove sin from us? How is the penalty paid for? Well, Jesus paid the price for my having missed God's goal. That is also known as sin. And a penalty had to be paid. So Jesus paid it for me. Salvation is free, but it's not cheap. Three words express the price God paid for our salvation. Propitiation, redemption, and blood. In human terms, propitiation means appeasing someone who is angry, usually by a gift. But that is not what it means in the Bible. Propitiation means the satisfying of God's holy law, the meeting of its just demand. So God can freely forgive those who come to the Messiah. The word blood tells us that the price was paid. Jesus had to die on the cross in order to satisfy the law and justify law sinners. So God must be perfectly consistent with himself. He cannot break his own law or violate his own nature. God is love. God is light. A God of love who wants to forgive sinners, but a God of holiness who must punish sin and uphold his righteousness. So how can God be both just and the justifier? Well, we have good news. The answer is in Jesus the Messiah. When Jesus suffered the wrath of God on the cross for the sins of the world, he fully met the demands of God's law and fully expressed the love of God's heart. The animal sacrifices of the Old Testament never took away sin, but when Jesus died, he reached all the way back to Adam and took care of those sins. No one, including Satan, could accuse God of being unjust or unfair because his seeming passing over sins in the Old Testament time.